This video this morning might uh, piss a few people off, but we're going to show some uh, differences, which I don't think anybody's ever taken the time to do, between different bed manufacturers. We get a lot of flack from people on our post about this bed being junk, that bed being junk. And you know what? All of these trucks operate in tow cars. All of them have faults all of them have problems but we're gonna show all of them side by side this morning and uh just happens that most of them are all lined up here so it's gonna make it pretty convenient and uh show some differences and uh dispel some rumors what a lot of people don't realize is the towing industry for as sales go has been very territory for a long time so it's kind of like your rivalry of ford chevy dodge or probably better yet, it's kind of like your rivalry of uh, whether you like the Redskins or the Cowboys. Everybody's got their opinion. That's the same way with bids. Each one of these trucks we've sold, every single bid manufacturer there is, we have sold, we have operated, we have owned and used. So we can dispel a lot of rumors that most people probably can't that are just in the sales game. But you're leading known companies are Miller Industries, which is Century, Vulcan, uh, a couple of others mixed in with their uh, ownership. And then of course, the next in line is probably Jordan. They've been out a long time. People recognize the name. And if you're in an area where you have a local distributor, you've probably been bound to own their product. So if you've had their product and you loved it, you're a big believer. If you've had their product and had problems, well, you're probably a big hater. But fortunately, we carry all of them. Um, and Danco being one that really gets frowned upon a whole lot. But let's start with these since we're right here. So here's your Sentry bed. Typically 21 and a half by 102. They do come shorter and 96 inch wide as well. Sentry bed sits pretty low. LCG, low center of gravity. As you can see, the toolbox is pretty close right there. And their rail supports are very close. I don't have a tape measure, but on center, they're pretty close. What's that going to affect? Well, it's going to make the bed a little heavier, but in the long run, it's going to keep the bed from frowning or having ripples. Anybody seen a used bed, they usually have all the little dimples in them from heavy equipment and other things over the years. But Miller Industries is a strong company with a great warranty. They build a good bed. This particular one's air ride, of course, so it's got a quick dump valve. They mount their chains up here. You have the option of galvanized or steel right here. This is a fixed headboard truck, which is pretty cool. So if you're working in a parking deck or something with low uh, height, you don't have to go up very high because that's not going to raise up way in the air and hit anything. So pretty neat feature there. Um, Ramsey winches are most of the time what they have. Work lights are good. Strobe lights are good. Just a good bed. Lots of keyholes down the side. A lot of people don't know, but you can use the small hole for running a pulley. Um, and of course, these are good for tie downs uh, or cross pulling if you remove your rails. Again, if you're not in the towing industry, you don't realize some of these things. And some people have never used one of these trucks right because they've never been taught, but so many different features. And of course, when they leave us, they come with straps and chains and J hooks and all the other stuff. Two car carrier with wheel lift. 10,000 pounds back here, tow rating, ball mount, L arms. So here's one fact that a lot of people don't know. L arms get stolen a lot. <laughs> So uh, that's a pretty common thing to happen. Uh, if you run the wheel lift up, it will block them on this model, which is pretty cool. They have a nice uh, support system in the back, LED lights. We have seen those get bent because they are kind of hanging out there. So I don't guess you call that a fault, but uh, it could be. So let's move over to Jordan. Another popular one, another one we've sold hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of. Also, steel beds, 102 wide, common, 96 is an option. They do go typically 22 feet, so an extra half a foot. Back here at the wheel lift once again, tow ball mount. They come this way or they come with a receiver. Reasonable hinge. L-arms are locked in, so you can't get them out. 
Pretty nice little pedestal back here. Very similar with the LED lights. Same deal, quite a bit of uh, tie down areas, but they are a little smaller and they don't have the divot in them for running a pulley. And their centering on their supports is uh, very similar, a little bit wider. Spacing is about the same. Really clean way that they run their hydraulics and their wiring. And also been around for a long time. So dual controls. They do not typically have the chains up front, but they do have the tie down area and a storage area for it. Ramsey winch once again. A little different light design. Again, a lot of these things are options as far as lights and stuff like that go, but removal rails, all the good stuff. Of course, all these bed manufacturers come in aluminum. There's a really nice aluminum bed, Jordan, with removable rails that are a little harder to remove because of the way they're mounted. And here's a Century Aluminum with a fixed set of side rails. Fixed rails, a little bit less desirable. You're not gonna drag a shed or you're not gonna drag anything from the side up on this truck or load it with a forklift. So maybe a disadvantage if you wanna say, but uh, definitely not gonna have anything fall off of it. So that's your Century Aluminum. That's your Jordan Aluminum, side by side comparison. Underside of them is almost identical once again. Plenty of support well-built undercarriage both of them have dimple design so you're not going to slip one's more groove than the other that's about the only difference so those are your two big names they're the ones that are most recognized uh, they're the ones that if somebody calls they're the first names that they realize i think we do have a vulcan over here which is also going to fall under the uh, miller industry line Pretty much damn identical other than the emblems to a century. Yep, there we go. So if you didn't see the emblem on the side, you would probably never know what bed this is. Also good under here. This is not a new build, but uh, still in good shape for a used truck. And then we got it next to a Danco. We get a lot of flack about Danco. We sell a ton of this product. Users and owners give us no complaints because trust me, we would hear about it. We'll start at the back. Your alarms are locked in place and they are beefy. And a really easy mount. Twist that, back it out, ready to go. Ball mount on the back. The extension area is really easy because they've got the twist design instead of a pin that will freeze up. All greasable, which is cool. Chain support area, polyurethane bed glides, and a very, very beefy mount at the rear of the frame for the lights. Controls on both sides. The control box, a little bit thinner and lighter metal, but uh, still has all your controls. And here's where they differ a little bit. So their own center is exactly like a Miller or a Jordan. I think one of my guys said they might be a little closer, but it also has these little extra supports, which might not mean a lot, but uh, if you're in any kind of fabrication industry, you'll know that that little bit right there goes a long way in supporting the bed. Welded in place, so not only does it catch the channel of the metal but it also catches the bed supports running across and you can also see right here the secondary frame with a lot of polyurethane slides and a really clean mounting apparatus and good hardware they use on mounting the bed they also use a super spring this is a new build so you can see very clean still got the stickers that makes this bed carry 12,000 pounds where a lot of them are only 10,000 pounds now, some people don't like the slick design. Well, I could take it or leave it. I have busted my tail on a wet or greasy bed like this before, but in their defense, this would be a recovery truck. So for getting something off, it will slip right off or use a little soap and it will slide right off. So if you're doing accidents 
or Copar towing for the junkyard, very good option. Now you'll see next year, 2023s, we're gonna have a lot of diamond plated bids also. It is an upgraded cost to go diamond plate, but we are building 80% of our trucks with diamond plate because we find this to be a big complaint. People think it makes the bid look cheap. Doesn't have anything to do with the cost other than yes, it is less expensive, but we have found people that have switched from a diamond plated bid to this bid in the recovery industry and been very happy with it. But lo and behold, we gotta please everybody. So diamond plate it is. And if you're hauling cars or doing deliveries, diamond plate is, I don't know, it looks better, I guess. And it is not as slippery. So you will not fall down on a snowy winter day. So to fix some of the crying complaints, you will see ours with diamond plate. We're also doing a light upgrade. So we'll have additional LEDs on these trucks. We're also doing a trash can mount. So you'll have a trash can mount on one or both sides, depending on the option and depending on the fuel tank mounting. We do mostly all dual tank trucks, as you see here. And all SLTs. So not to get off track, but we saw a lot of these built Rams. So just wanted to show one while we're on the subject in case you hadn't seen one of our builds. Fog lights, chrome trim. We pick out some pretty cool colors. Of course, they can all be wrapped. Cummins, a few gas mixed in, but mostly Cummins. And this is a perfect example, still wrapped on the seats. Cloth interior, three passenger, bigger screen. Nice options, nice light bar, work lights. And there you go, 12,000 pound bed. alloy wheels, mud flaps. We'll have some with rock guards. Again, we're gonna vary some options on these trucks for 2023. These are the last of the 2022s that we have. I think it's only two left. Um, but anyway, so there's your comparison. Well, let's catch one more while we're at it. Why not? We do have a dual tech. Well, actually the dual tech has left the ball game so we're not gonna be able to show you that, but a dual tech would be on the lower end of the spectrum. You'll see the spacing on the bed was a little spread out, but price is less for that bed by, I don't know, five or $7,000. So if saving money is a big deal, sometimes that's a feature that doesn't matter. So uh, the bed still works, the bed's still good. It's definitely the cheapest in the ball game. And I'm glad this one was still sitting here. It's getting ready to leave, but NRC, most uncommon bid, most expensive bid. As you can see, even their wheel lift is phenomenally crazy how the apparatus works. Galvanized tail section, so no rust. That's another thing about aluminum and galvanized. If you're a Northern State guy, that's your best friend. So this is a 2022, but it is a used truck. Well-built bid. Spacing on center is really good. But again, if you notice, no extra supports like Danco puts in place. So all these guys laughing on Danco. Danco was part of Jordan and they separated. He was the Dan in Jordan. So that's where Danco comes from. Unfortunately, he has passed away, but the company is still running strong. But he took what he already knew and obviously improved upon it, but his marketing and everything else is lacking. So you don't hear about it as much, but you definitely cannot clown on a Danco bid. And if you don't know anything about NRC, you definitely should look into it. We very well may be a dealer for them in the future. A little bit of a problem since they're out of Canada, but we support the product tremendously because of quality. Extremely nice control box. Disengaging air shift winch. Rear toolboxes. Stowage area right there. They run all their wiring real clean and they'll build pretty much anything you ask for. Also fixed headboard with nice chain holders. You see these mainly in uh, commercial applications. We got a couple local guys that swear by them when they can find them. So uh, for all your equipment hauling guys, they know all about NRC. This is a cool Mack truck with a Cummins. Trash can holder and a few other things. So 
thanks for watching today a little long-winded but a pretty informative video i think davis auto sales check us out anytime